An update on COVID-19 in schools. Districts are trying to get ahead of the next academic calendar by finalizing a schedule early while also dealing with daily decision making through the pandemic. There were a lot of eyes on Bibb County School Superintendent Curtis Jones when he made the decision to start school back virtually and in person this year. He is working with the board and taking input from parents on the academic calendar for the next two years while still monitoring the district's COVID-19 case numbers daily. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker spoke with him about how he is maintaining this balancing act. Uh, we've asked the community to look at two different options. One is to allow students to come back uh, the 1st of August. Another one lets them come back around the middle of August. Bibb County Superintendent Curtis Jones considered two options for the upcoming calendar years. One with a longer summer to give teachers more time to pre-plan. It'll be a shorter Thanksgiving break, a shorter fall break, as well as a shorter winter break. Uh, the other option, though, was for students really to start school around the 1st of August, so pre-planning would happen in July. That allows us now to have a full Thanksgiving Day break, a full fall break, a full winter break as well, still getting school out before uh, Memorial Day. The calendar start dates also depends on the status of COVID-19 at that time. The district's latest update reported 38 cases system-wide. Our nurses are now turning in a weekly report to uh, they're higher up so that they're able to put together a school level report for who in the school has been affected, who's quarantining, etc. We've now figured out how we can also monitor that information and not wait for the state report. After students returned back in person on November 9th, Southwest High and Southfield Elementary had to switch back to virtual for about two weeks because of COVID-19. Jones says closing campuses mostly has to do with staffing needs. Are the buses going to be able to run? Can we operate the cafeteria? Uh, do we have the teachers in place? And we're asking every principal. How's the staff feeling? What does this look like? And then we're able to, at the district level, compare one school to another and then make a judgment call. But at the end of the day, it is all about making sound judgmental calls and trying to be consistent and uh, reasonable with what we do. Uh, the district releases its latest COVID-19 case and quarantine reports every Friday. The last report was the Friday before Thanksgiving. The next one will be this Friday, which could be quite telling with everyone returning back from the holiday break this week. Jones says they are looking through the feedback from the survey on the calendar options and will share that information once they have come to a decision.